Hypothyroidism is strongly associated with weight gain. Point one. In fact, weight gain is one of the most common symptoms of hypothyroidism, and is what ultimately leads many people to the diagnosis of thyroid disease. Managing your weight can be a challenge with an underactive thyroid, which may be caused by Hashimoto's thyroiditis, medication side effects, a goiter, thyroid cancer, removal the thyroid gland, treatment of hyperthyroidism, iodine deficiency, though less likely in the United States, or a number of other conditions. The thyroid weight gain connection. Hypothyroidism has long been associated with weight gain and hyperthyroidism with weight loss, but the exact biochemical cause of this link is not completely clear. That said, there are several mechanisms that may explain the connection in cases of low thyroid function. The two most active thyroid hormones, thyroxine T4 and triiodothyronine T3, circulate in the body, and they affect your metabolism through their interaction with your two fat cells muscle, liver, pancreas, hypothalamus. Thyroid hormones normally help the body break down fat, and they help the liver and pancreas function to metabolize stored calories to be used for energy. These hormones also help the muscles throughout the body as they use energy. And when there is an adequate amount of thyroid hormone circulating in the body, the hypothalamus, which is a regulator of thyroid hormone in the brain, decreases the amount of thyrotropin regulating hormone TRH, secretion. Losing weight with hypothyroidism. If you have hypothyroidism, losing weight can be very challenging. Many people think that once you start taking thyroid hormone replacement medications, the weight just falls off. While treatment can help you lose some of the weight you have gained, it takes planning, hard work, diet, exercise, and getting enough sleep to shed a number of pounds. Determining how far off you are from your ideal weight and body fat can help you assess how much weight you need to lose. Point three, a body mass index BMI calculator can help you get started. Diet. An optimal diet minimizes simple carbohydrates and sugars and focuses on lean proteins and vegetables. A meal plan for hypothyroidism can keep you on track in terms of calorie goals. You also need to be careful to avoid goitrogenic foods, which can disrupt your thyroid function. Point four, if you are struggling to lose weight, consider working with a nutritionist to find a dietary plan that works best for you. Exercise. Exercise can also help you lose weight. Current guidelines from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, recommend that adults get 150 minutes of moderate exercise and two sessions of muscle building each week. Point five. However, people with hypothyroidism may need to go beyond these recommendations to lose weight. Sleep. Sleep deprivation is strongly linked to weight gain, and that association is clear whether you have thyroid disease or not. Point six, getting enough restorative sleep on a regular basis can help prevent weight gain and help you keep weight off. A word from very well. If you have thyroid disease, you know that there are many symptoms. Mild to moderate weight gain is almost always part of living with hypothyroidism, and obesity, while less common, can be a problem as well. Usually, adequate thyroid treatment, as well as some lifestyle strategies, are needed to maintain a healthy weight, and to feel your best overall. How it works. Have you ever seen one of those dominoes displays on television? Where they push over one domino and it knocks down the next domino, which knocks down the next, and so on until thousands of them are toppling over. This is what Jody's solution is doing. The first domino is getting rid of toxins which knocks over the next domino, relaxing the immune system, which knocks over the next domino, ending that chronic inflammation, which knocks over the final domino, an unharassed thyroid that's now free to switch back on and release those vital hormones back into the body. The simplicity of all this was that once I'd toppled the first domino the rest just took care of themselves. Some days later my thyroid was gradually able to resume its good work, and my symptoms started to reduce. But first, I had to realize that the toxins in my body that led to inflammation were put there by me. I did it to myself. Now I was a little offended by this, I don't do anything that anybody doesn't do. What do we do? Well, don't stop eating. And don't go on some crazy, restrictive diet that saps the joy out of life. And don't stop using cleaning agents to clean your home or body. The solution is. 
to first understand exactly where most toxins are coming from, and then to swap some of those sources for items that are significantly less toxic. In truth, there's actually not that much to avoid. A fairly small number of things cause most of our problems. And just a small reduction in toxins coming into our bodies can have a huge effect on our immune system's ability to function properly. If you know exactly what you're doing then you can achieve a significant change to your symptoms with only minor tweaks to your shopping list. So we swap a few items here for some replacement items there, and carry on as before, but this time, without hypothyroidism. Fast, easy, effective. Five or six days into the four-week plan I started to feel the effects. I felt a lot lighter and I seemed to move in a more relaxed way. It's hard to describe. It was very nice though. I slept a heck of a lot better. And I didn't really have a sleep problem in the first place so that was quite a revelation. At about the 10-day mark my mood lifted noticeably. I mean, I woke up and felt very different, in a good way. It might have been at the point that things just ran away with themselves. I suddenly had more energy, more enthusiasm for life. I weighed myself at the three-week point and found myself four pounds lighter. I wasn't actually dieting. In fact, I followed Jody's advice to eat until I was full. No need to tell me twice to do that. That weight loss continued slowly but steadily until I was about 10 pounds lighter. At the end of the four weeks I just carried on doing what was clearly already working. And I've never stopped.